Hi guys. Uh, this lesson covers uh, features of the simple harmonic motion. Okay. So simple harmonic motion. Well, the, we we cover the basic uh, knowledge of the simple harmonic motion throughout the previous lesson. But for this lesson, we're going to move a little ahead to talk about regarding to the lots of features. So like guys, the uh, period as you can see on the on the board, okay? So period or amplitude and whatever. Okay, there are lots of things to that you know that you need to know about simple harmonic motion. For for this diagram, okay, for this uh, sketch, well, this sketch tells us say uh, moves up, it moves down, and moves back up, moves down again. Okay, say so, a uh, lot of people thinking simple harmonic motion is only up and down, moving up and down, but not really. The activity of the simple harmonic well, activity of a particle which follow the simple harmonic motion is not only for a vertical movement but also the horizontal movement okay so at the right now uh, it is upside up and down so for example that one tells us a high tide low tide so like a, that's the height of the tide for a certain day so that it it, it tours to the maximum height and then after the certain days, as the moon, depending on the activity of the moon, it goes down. It reaches to the lowest, uh, lowest height of the seashore. Okay, so a lot of things happening. So that's a, that tells us a typical example of the vertical motion. Okay, vertical movement or vertical activity. Now, the it, uh, the simple harmonic motion also moves to the horizontal direction. So right hand side, left hand side. For this diagram, this direction is towards to the right hand side. Okay, so this may be towards to the left hand side. So it's just an example. So it moves from here, goes in and come back here. Okay, goes in and come back there. So that's simple harmonic motion too. So please do not stick to the you know, stick to the fact that your simple harmonic motion is only for vertical movement, okay? So it is also the horizontal movement as well. So that's the thing you need to understand. And then in terms of a period, say uh, from here the maximum point and another maximum point. Well, not necessarily maximum to maximum. It can be minimum to minimum. So whichever case, it gives us the same value. Or anything, any particular same time, Okay, so well, not this one, but this one. Okay, it comes back to original direction. So that tells you about the same period. A period is, talks about the time, well, in you know, a duration of the time. Okay, so it, it doesn't tell us about the length, say meters, anything at all. So it's a time because can you see that it's a t represents the time. Okay, so how long does it take to get it back right now? The position is right now. So that's what. Uh, what the period tells about. Does that make sense? Okay, so that is the period. And the next one is the amplitude. So amplitude is something like the, uh, the from the center of the motion and up to the maximum height or maximum displacement. So if you can see that the, uh, the, the horizontal activity, horizontal movement, uh, the amplitude is also refers the distance between the center to the rightmost or center to the leftmost, whichever the case, but there's the same thing because the center is always in the middle of the motion. Okay, yeah, as, as I spoken to you, that's the center of the motion. Center of the motion is not always in the origin, it may be somewhere else. Say, say for example, if you sketch the, uh, sketch the graph of the simple harmonic motion, it may be like this one, it may be like this. Then, in this case, that will be the center of the motion. So again, center of the motion does not uh, represent the origin. Okay, it can be anything depending on the activity. Now that's the center of the motion. Okay, right hand, rightmost position and leftmost position, whatever that is, that's the center. So it can be anywhere. Now end point, it's like uh, you know, you know, range stuff. Okay, so maximum height, maximum. In a minimum value, okay, so or rightmost, leftmost, like this one, rightmost, leftmost. That's the end point. The so end point uh, is obtained by the use of the amplitude uh, from the center point, okay, or the po point of the center, whatever. 
Look at the question one, okay? For x equals to 3 cos 2t, we're going to find something over here, okay? So make sure time is in second, x is in meters. So that's usual, that's very usual. First step is to sketch the diagram. Uh, some question does not ask you to sketch the diagram all the time, but if even that, that is the case, I suggest you to draw the diagram because the, uh, the graph gives you lots of benefit for you to solve the rest of the question. Okay, so I highly recommend you to sketch the diagram, okay, sketch the graph. Okay, what we can do, well, there are a few different things, okay, so three and two. So we, I'll show you how to do, how to handle to draw the graph. First thing is we can sketch the cos t graph, okay? So x equals to cos t, x equals to cos t. So you get just a very basic graph. But make sure your sketch should start from the zero, so from the origin. It can't be like that one. Can anyone tell me why this is not allowed? No? Yeah, so some, so some of you are, are telling me. T, because of T, okay, the value, the negative value of T indicates what happened in the past. But we don't care about you know, what happened in the past. We, we care about what's happened right now and in the future, okay, in the future. So that's what's happening. So usually negative T values are not allowed, okay. So that's why it starts from very origin, okay. Now, <coughs> What's next? Do you need to consider two or three first? Well, always uh, if it follows from the, the center or the origin or in the inner side first. Uh, you need to sketch two times t first, okay? Sketch cos 2t. So how do you sketch that? 2t tells us the, to make the graph squeezed for twice the force as before. So it's, it looks like a push the spring okay, from this side towards to the uh, center. Okay? See, see how, how you can do it. Just squeezed. Can you see, can you see the changes? Okay, I'll show you, show you again. That's cos t and that is cos 2t. Understand that, okay? So what is the change, what, what, what is the big change between cos t and 2t? Well, it, it makes the period change. In this case, the period is here today, so it's actually pi, okay? But previously, it was here today, it used to be 2 pi. So this 2 makes period squeeze in half, okay? So that's why you understand the B. And then next step is 3, okay? 3, so how do you sketch 3? So 3, you got to times by 3 for whole lot, okay? Whatever that is, you times by 3. We talk about y value, over in this case, the x value, so the resultant value, we got to times for every value. See what happens? It becomes triple, okay? Triple as it was. So it used to be 1 over there, times by 3, it becomes 3. That's a simple idea. And now why, what is this number influencing to the simple harmonic motion? It tells about changing of the amplitude. See, previously the amplitude was 1, but now it is 3. So that tells about the amplitude, basically. Okay, so always time, yeah, what's, what's the amplitude? 3. Okay, what's the period? Period 2 pi divided by, by this number. So we'll, we'll, we will cover this one a little later on. Okay, so that's, that's the complete sketch for, uh, for the x graph now. Part B, yeah, as, as I as I stated a little earlier, the amplitude, what is the amplitude? Just half of the not whole lot, okay? It's just half of them, which is only this one. Don't get confused. Not whole thing, just half of them. So that is called amplitude. It's just, just a definition. So there's no reason why we call it amplitude, because we call it. That's it. So what's what is the value of the amplitude? Which is three. So as I, as I said, Three, you need to take this number here, so that's the amplitude. Understand that, okay? Well, in terms of the notation, so capital A represents amplitude, usually. Capital A represents the amplitude, while little a represents acceleration. So you must be able to distinguish which one is which. 
Not always, but most of the cases. Okay. Now, next one is period. It's like period. Remember period. Okay, it's from here to there. Okay, so how long does it take? Pi second. It takes pi second from this maximum point to the second maximum point. But in terms of the formula that you can remember, one full period used to be two pi. Okay, which is 360 degrees. And then I, I want you to divide by this number. So usually n, so that is 2 at this time. Okay? So pi, we know pi, but how you, how you find pi for the, uh, the other questions? 2 pi divided by n, but n, is, n value is 2 right now. So it is pi second. Okay, so that makes sense? Okay, so that's uh, what we can find out. And the next one is center of the motion. It's very obvious. What is it? Yes, zero. How do you say? Is it x equals zero, t equals zero? Okay, it is x equals zero. So I, uh, I suggest you to remember center of, the, of motion is not actually the value, but it tells about the kind of coordinate. Okay, so actually in this case, ordinate. So x must be equal to zero, not just zero. Okay, be careful. Don't tell just zero. X equal to zero. Okay. Some kind of gen generous uh, markers may, uh, you know, mark zero, right? But technically, you, shall, you should say x equal to zero. End point. End point. Yeah, easy. Three and negative three. So you can say, how do you write it? Three on negative three. No, x equal to negative three and x equal to three. So I'm just uh, trying to say the the proper way and standard way. Okay, so that you can. Uh, get get any secured mark, okay? Similarly, we do the second question. Okay, well, the first step is to find out the, uh, the sketch, find out the graph, okay? So how do you start? Start from the very vanilla thing, very basic thing. So what is basic graph for this uh, sketch? It should be sine t, okay? x equals to sine t. So how do you sketch sine t? Make sure it should start from the zero, from, uh, from the origin. So very basic, the range is in between 1 and minus 1, it keeps on going, keeps on going over there. Okay? Next one is regarding to 4t. Okay, we can sketch 4t's. Have an imagination, 4t, what 4t makes changes? It's squeezed by 4 times. Okay? Squeezed by 4 times as it used to have before. So like a spring. Okay, okay now, and 2, okay, leading to make it range bigger. Okay, we range the double. Can you see? Okay, next one is to consider plus one over there. Plus one. What is plus one that plus one doing? It lifts the graph up upwards. Okay, so like this one. So that's the graph that we are working on it. Okay, and the part B amplitude. Yeah, amplitude should start from the center, not from the origin. Okay, so here that is the amplitude. Well, that's the same number of two as, as we've spoken about them. So amplitude is two meters because x is in meters. The distance is in meters. Period. Okay, period actually uh, length, uh, time duration from here to there. But do you remember two pi divided by n? N is four in this case. So that's how you do. Okay. So n equals to four. So it's simply pi on two seconds. That's the period. And then center of the motion is simply x equals to 1. Okay, so x equals to 1, easy. x equals to 1 is coming from the, the last constant number from the equation now. Okay, so that's the center of the motion. And the end point, well, 3 and negative 1, which is x equals to 3, and x equals to negative 1. So that's all about that. So. Uh, to cover, uh, to summarize all of the lessons for this video is, is uh, regarding for you to be able to sketch the graph first, then uh, you can get all the specific features from the graph. That will be usually the reasonable and safer way to uh, handle the question. Okay? Alright then, we'll see you at the next lesson.